Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and today I'm filming in a different part of my room because I'm at my desk with my computer because for today's video I'm going to be doing sort of like a little exploration of Wattpad, which I'm sure most of you are aware of what Wattpad is. It's an online website where you can post stories chapter by chapter and people can read them and leave you comments and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure that many of you guys are aware that Wattpad has become this really big thing where now people are getting their books published that they posted on Wattpad after is a Wattpad book. Um, Did I mention I Love You by Estelle Mascom, The Heartbreakers, like I can think of a million books that came from Wattpad. But like any website, there's good and then there's not as good and I thought it would be kind of fun to just kind of explore the website. I'm not super into like reading Wattpad fix anymore but back in the day like my One Direction stan days um, I was obsessed with reading like Harry Styles fan fiction when I was probably like 14 like six or seven years ago so I definitely used to you know read fan fiction and read stories but I feel like it's still such a big thing. So for today's video I have a few stories that I've actually read before or heard of um, that I want to talk about and then also just some that you guys have recommended to me told me have gotten a lot of mixed reviews and stuff like that and I just kind of want to check them out so that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know if you guys like this kind of video but if you do leave me a comment down below letting me know but I'm just gonna get started. So you can see I already have a few tabs open of stories that I definitely want to look at. This one in particular, this is called Dark. So I believe this story was never originally posted on Wattpad. Um, it was posted by someone named Hannah. I totally forget what website it was ever on, but I read this like a really long time ago. I was probably 14 years old. And this story was just so wild. And the reason that I wanted to bring it up is because since all of this hype with after a lot of people have been confusing after and dark and thinking that after is dark which it isn't dark is so much worse um so i'm just gonna look at this i just remember this story being absolutely wild starting from like the first chapter um it starts with this girl and she's like at a party and like he just comes up to her and he's like dance with me he spoke in a raspy voice like i didn't have time to respond before he tugged me away the cup i was holding dropping and slipping to the floor a large palm was placed on my lower back facing me forwards into his body like what and then i think he like literally just gives her a hickey if i'm remembering correctly what's your name beautiful Bo. i stuttered he smiled down at me his overpowering presence traveling to my ear i'm harry he hotly whispered before he withdrew the fullness of his lips pressed to the spot just below my ear i like you he smirked you're so innocent like you just walked up to her like what is going on and then hold on i need to find this i can tell you're gonna be a challenge yeah and then he literally just like gives her a hickey and then says you're mine now what <laughs> that actually like makes me laugh i'm so confused this story though i remember being so enthralled with it and i have no idea why like what was i thinking i don't know um i can specifically remember this one scene where he like forces her to go on a date with him and she like crawls out of the bathroom window because she's so scared of him and then she like jumps off a dock to get away from him like i don't even i don't even know this story was crazy i don't know why i liked it um because now looking back it's just horrible and like i feel really bad saying that <laughs> because like she really worked hard on the story obviously but it's just not good like it's not a good example of like relationships and i know a lot of people say that about after but like this is not like after like no like just no like absolutely not so yeah this is <laughs> this is dark if any of you guys read this story please let me know um another story that was a really popular harry styles fan fiction is called psychotic and this one i haven't read there isn't really much of a description when it comes to this um story but somebody actually sent me a description of what it is about so i just want to read that to you in case any of you guys are unfamiliar with this story um she said it's a harry styles fanfic about him being framed as a psychopathic murderer that skins all of his victims and then he falls in love with one of the girls and starts working in the asylum what <laughs> like it like what it has so many reads how many reads does this fic have 71 million <laughs> 71 million people have read this story that is crazy that is literally crazy what year did this come out i never heard about this story it's definitely an older story but that's legit crazy 71 million 
Wow, I'd love to know if any of you guys read this one because I definitely didn't. Um, I'm having trouble remembering like any of the One Direction fan fiction I used to read. I think I mostly read like one shots, like little one story like little things and I read a lot of them on Tumblr not on Wattpad so it's hard for me to like find them but oh my gosh that is so funny. <laughs> okay so now moving on from like the Harry Styles stuff um one story that I just randomly came across while I was kind of scrolling through Wattpad one day uh because I do sometimes read Wattpad books and if you guys recommend them to me or if you write your own story and you want me to read it I'm so like more than you know happy to do so and I'm not trying to like also make anybody feel bad that does write on Wattpad because some people are like super talented writers and do great stuff on Wattpad but there's just some stories that I have to laugh like if you enjoy these stories that's great too also like I'm not trying to make fun of anybody it's just funny like I just have to laugh um okay this one is called The Last Virgin Standing this one has 65.7 million reads I can't believe it that's so crazy like Wattpad is actually like popping okay this says the story is about a girl named Charlotte. It says, Charlotte Summers is the last virgin in her school. A school where taking virginity is a sport. The sport has five main contenders. Tyler Bradshaw, the mysterious bad boy. Alec Jennings, the all-star athlete. Ian Jameson, the cocky rich guy. Beckett Cartwright, the renowned genius. And Lucas Chandler, her best friend. With all these guys determined to win the title of the virginator, will Charlotte make it out alive with her virginity? <laughs> <laughs> okay if any of you guys have read this and it's actually really good <laughs> please tell me please tell me because reading that synopsis like the virginator like what do you mean <laughs> oh my god what like i'm so confused i'm so lost how is everybody but her a virgin in her high school and also why do they all know like why is there five guys that take everybody's virginity like i'm i'm not sure if i'm taking this like too literally or not um my guess is that it's her best friend that takes her virginity let me know in the comments below if you've read it uh but 65.7 million reads that's actually crazy i can't even make fun of that because that's like girl you did that like that's crazy and i believe wattpad authors get paid now because there's ads on the um stories i was reading a story that somebody recommended to me recently that was actually really good and i was on the app and it kept making me pause to watch videos and i was like this was never a thing in 2012 like i'm appalled but that's actually really cool that people are being able to like spend time writing and getting rewarded for it that's really cool so yeah this story <laughs> it just sounds so strange but i would love to know if it's actually decent i'll read it like if somebody tells me the story is good i will read it and i'll review it for you guys so let me know the next story i wanted to talk about is this one this is called chasing red this one has 199 million reads oh my god and this one i know now is published as a book the reason i wanted to look at this one specifically is because i've heard like really mixed things some people absolutely love this story and some people hate it um, if you guys have watched, there's a rant review by Casey Ayanzo. Is that how you say your last name? I'm sorry if you're watching Casey. Um, but she did a rant review on this book and it made me not want to read it. But at the same time, <laughs> I feel like if I hadn't watched the rant review and I just read it, I probably would have liked it. But it says, when cynical straight A college student Veronica Stratford gets kicked out of her apartment, notorious basketball player, basketball player, B notorious basketball player Caleb Lockhart offers her a place to stay intensely drawn to her Caleb wants something for the first time in his life and pursues her but Veronica's painful past is catching up to her and her heart might just be the one thing Caleb can't win <laughs> I'm the last thing she wants in her life she keeps expecting me to disappoint her to leave but I'm here to stay she owns me it's as simple as that she was fire and I wanted her to burn me <laughs> Like a moth to a flame, I could not resist. She was broken. A puzzle was missing a few pieces. Oh, a puzzle that was missing a few pieces. Maybe I'd carve my own pieces to complete her. They said she was going to be my ruin. Then let her ruin me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for laughing because some of you guys probably like the story. Um, okay. 
I don't know, just what, after watching the rant review, I don't know if I can go back. There was, she was talking about like how there's this first scene in the book, they're like at a club. Like, why are you at a club if you're homeless? That makes no sense. Um, and then she like goes home with him at this club. Like, I really don't know. It sounds kind of wild, to be honest. Some of you guys have like told me to read this story. So maybe I'll give it a shot if enough of you tell me to, but I don't know. I haven't heard the best things. I'm a little, I'm a little scared, honestly. Um, but yeah, so that's Chasing Red. I don't know. Should I even look at like what it's, what the first chapter is or something? Can you even read it on here anymore if it's a published book? See, here's the ads I'm talking about. Wow, get that coin. Okay, here we go. Sorry, that took me 12 years. Okay. Um, yeah, see, look, the whole dance floor glowed with red and green laser beams shooting out from the rotating lights in the ceiling. It was Friday night and the club was packed with people dancing and jumping to the DJ's throbbing music. They reminded me of penguins huddled in the cold, only they were on crack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I feel like that really, like, it was a really short excerpt, but I feel like we're kind of, like, in the story now. Like, I know exactly what's going on. Um, where's, is the girl's name Red? Is, no, it said her name was something else, didn't it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he like calls her Red. Is that like not her name? He just calls her it? Okay, I'm not reading this. <laughs> After reading that first sentence, I think we're good. Um, okay, so let me see if I can find like one more story. By the way, I have a Wattpad account. A lot of you guys ask if you can like follow me. I don't post anything on it. And I just like save stories, like <laughs> continue reading. I. <laughs> I haven't read that. I just have it there because it's like from my like saved things that I wanted to look at. Oh, what's this? This is bad boy's hired wife. Boy, what? Oh, hold on. Hold up. It thinks I'm reading it. Meet Vincent Watson, the only heir of Watson Inc., an arrogant playboy that knows how to deal with every girl in their campus. On the other hand, Isabel Lauren is suffering from a problem. She's penniless. All these broke girls. She's still studying because of her scholarship, but nobody is supporting her. One day, they will bump into each other, and that will be the start of a bad boy hired wife. Okay. <laughs> so this has 7.6 million reads. I, that's wild. Um, so I guess this is about a girl who gets hired to be somebody's wife, and then he, like, pays her way through college. Kind of goals. Like, I can't even knock it, honestly. Oh my gosh. It's really hard to, like, get a good gauge of, like a story just from looking at chapter one but I don't know guys honestly um I thought it would be a funny idea like in the future if you guys have like specific stories that you want me to like dramatically read out loud I was talking to somebody on Twitter and we thought that'd be a funny idea so let me know if that's something you'd want to see but <laughs> for now I just don't even it's so wild to me how popular Wattpad has gotten and it's not a bad thing like I think it's really great that people are getting such incredible opportunities just from posting their stories online um you guys know obviously with after that's become like a huge thing and now it's a movie the kissing booth obviously started on Wattpad and that's now a movie and, and it did really well so that's just wild it's wild like I, I don't know what else to say but okay so I think I'm gonna end the video here I know I was just in the middle talking about something but my screen recording stopped the kids upstairs are playing the guitar I feel like I'm gonna pop a blood vessel okay um if you guys like this video and you want me to do more of them in the future or anything like this um if you have any like actual other ideas definitely let me know um also if you want like an actual list of Wattpad stories that I like and I've read and enjoyed and you want like recommendations you can let me know that as well and I'll consider doing a video on that but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already but other than that I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye!